with that suit and tie. And for some reason, the suit and tie, of course, Jay-Z's collaboration with Justin Timberlake. Those are some serious fighting words. After the news broke that Justin Timberlake was allegedly involved in attempting to sabotage the release of Britney Spears's long-awaited memoir, a storm of controversy swept through the music industry. Reports resurfaced, shedding light on how Kanye West had never fully trusted Justin and had seemingly tried to warn others about him in the past. The music scene became a focal point of discussion as the crowd went into a frenzy during a captivating performance of Suit and Tie, Justin Timberlake's collaboration with Jay-Z. But amidst the music and excitement, serious speculations were brewing. Britney Spears's tell-all memoir, titled The Woman in Me, had faced multiple delays, and the recent rumors pointed to Justin Timberlake as one of the key figures involved in hindering its release. According to sources, Justin was reportedly fearful that the book would unveil some unsavory details about their past relationship. Amidst the unfolding drama, a video surfaced featuring Kanye West seemingly dissing Justin, triggering memories of Kanye's previous warnings to Britney about her handlers. Back in 2021, when Justin publicly apologized to Britney for his past behavior, Kanye had apparently seen through the apology and thought it lacked sincerity, cautioning Britney not to place her trust in him. Curiously, Parallels were drawn between Kanye West and Britney Spears, given Kanye's personal experience with involuntary psychiatric hold and suspicions that Kim Kardashian, his ex-wife, had attempted to place him under conservatorship, drawing parallels to Britney's situation with her former business manager, Lou Taylor, who was reportedly close to the Kardashians. But intriguingly, further similarities were observed between Kim Kardashian and Justin Timberlake. Much like Kim, Justin appeared to have a track record of using people to advance his career, only to distance himself from them when they were no longer beneficial to his objectives. The narrative of Justin Timberlake exploiting his breakup with Britney for personal gain resurfaced, painting a picture of how he had publicly mocked her in interviews, accused her of cheating without any substantial evidence, and shamelessly shamed her on various occasions. Shockingly, while Britney faced harsh scrutiny from the media and the public, Justin garnered sympathy and support. The infamous Super Bowl incident involving Janet Jackson was also revisited, with Justin seemingly escaping public criticism while Janet bore the brunt of the backlash and had to offer apologies for the incident. It wasn't until 2021 that Justin finally addressed his past behavior, expressing regret for contributing to the perpetuation of misogyny and racism within the music industry. However, some critics argued that his apology seemed to be tinged with excuses, as if he was trying to shift the blame onto external factors. Kanye West's past remarks about Justin being envious of other artists and crying after not winning a Grammy in 2007 were unearthed, and fans and critics alike marveled at how Kanye's insights into Justin's character seemed to be accurate all along. In a surprising twist, reports emerged that both Justin Timberlake and Colin Farrell had threatened legal action against Britney unless certain parts of her memoir were removed, leading to significant delays in its release. Fans of Britney were now openly criticizing Justin for seemingly attempting to silence Britney's side of the story while lauding Kanye for his early perception of Justin's true nature. As the video concluded, viewers were urged to share their thoughts on Justin Timberlake's actions and whether they believed he was genuinely trying to block Britney from exposing him in her memoir. The debate surrounding Justin's character continued to intensify, with fans, critics, and industry insiders all contributing to the passionate discourse.